Hello, my friends. Happy Monday night to all of you. Millions of senior citizens could receive a $1,400 Ford stimulus check very soon. Our lawmakers in Congress are working together with state governments to put together a new plan that would provide more financial relief to low income households. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn if you will be eligible for a $1,400 payment. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. To enter my giveaways, all you have to do is click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Please remember, friends, that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. The nonpartisan Moody's analytics found that these consequences could include a loss of 6 million jobs, the elimination of potentially $15 trillion in household wealth, uh, sending the unemployment rate surging to 9% and a decline in the real GDP of our country by 4%. What that means in people's personal lives, according to the Joint Economic Committee, default on the not lifting the ceiling could prompt a lasting downgrade in America's credit, drastically increasing the cost for car loans, families have car loans, mortgages, student loans, credit card bills, and other borrowing. I don't know if there's anyone in the country who doesn't have such a loan certainly in Amer among America's working families. In a larger sense, J.P. Morgan CEO, Chase CEO, da Jamie Dimon, predicted that such a default, this is a quote, could cause an immediate, literally cascading cas catastrophe. In a new report by the United States Census Bureau, the number of Americans living in poverty decreased when crisis stimulus payments were factored in. The official poverty measure, which is determined by the Census Bureau, indicated that 11.4% of Americans were living in poverty. That is an increase of one percentage point since 2020. The increase was a first after five consecutive years of decline. However, when looking at a more complete supplemental measure of poverty, which factors in streams of income, such as stimulus payments, which were issued by the government to ease the economic recession, found that the number of Americans in poverty actually did decrease. Robert Greenstein, founder of the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, said that the decrease from the stimulus checks was proof that the government can help poverty levels. The crisis shutdown sent tremors through the economy last year. In April alone, more than 20 million workers lost their jobs. Unemployment offices paid out a weekly average of 20 million claims last year. The economy has rebounded since, but employment is still about 5 million jobs below pre-crisis levels. Congress passed five bipartisan crisis response bills last year, totaling close to $3.5 trillion and signed into law by the former president. In early 2021, Democrats pushed through President Biden's nearly $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan on party line votes. Though some of the federal aid last year was delayed for reasons from wrangling over costs to problems with distribution. But on the whole, it insulated American families from great economic disasters that would have compounded by the crisis. President Biden's current economic plan extends tax credits for families with children, which is seen as a strategy for reducing childhood poverty and its long-term consequences. Right now, many lawmakers are continuing to push for the permanent expansion of the monthly child tax credit payments. For more than eight years now, Colorado Senator Michael Benet has been trying to expand the child tax credit and help lift kids out of poverty. The American Rescue Plan finally expanded the child tax credit for one year and made it fully refundable so that the poorest families could benefit. And for the last half of 2021, it sent in the form of monthly checks to families, turning it into a reliable income supplement. The maximum total expanded credit was worth $3,600 per child, five and younger, and $3,000 per child ages six to 17.
with the amount falling for higher income households, opposition to making the tax credit into a permanent monthly benefit comes from several directions. Some lawmakers see it as a program that it encourage people not to work if parents and caregivers are not required to be in the workforce to receive it. Others are very concerned about the ongoing budget impact of creating such a large new safety net benefit. So my friends, what are your thoughts on the expanded child tax credit and should it be passed? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Now friends, several senior citizen advocacy groups are continuing to urge congressional lawmakers to pass legislation that would provide a one-time stimulus check of $1,400 to all Social Security recipients in the United States. The campaign for more relief for senior citizens continues to increase daily. The Senior Citizens League, which is a nonpartisan organization, gathered hundreds of thousands of signatures for a petition that calls on Congress to deliver a round of $1,400 emergency stimulus checks this is to assist an estimated 69 million Social Security beneficiaries in coping with the rising cost of living and inflation. In a letter sent to nearly every member of the House and Senate, the group has urged legislators to provide an extra $1,400 in non-taxable income to all Social Security recipients. Data collected by the group shows an estimated 6.2% increase to the Social Security cost of living this year, which far exceeds this year's increase of 1.3% to benefits. Friends, do you agree with me that all Social Security beneficiaries should receive another $1,400 stimulus check? And I truly hope and pray that we will begin to see Congress take more action for the American people as soon as possible. Well, my wonderful and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly and truly appreciate all of you. Please do me a favor, friends, and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus information. Friends, the two winner of today's Walmart gift card giveaway for $75 is Alan Foss, and Francine Adams. Congratulations, my friends. Please note that if I have announced you as the winners, do check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Congratulations once again. And thank you so much, everyone. And have a wonderful and blessed Monday night.